Thank you for joining. But there is one thing I want all of us to understand this very evening. We are facing a very formidable array of enemies, both external and within. And we are going to overcome each and every one of these obstacles. That I can assure you that they may know that the God we worship is an invisible God, not a God that was brought by the hands of men. For we do not worship idol, and we can never ever worship idol is impossible. This very family, this IPOB, belongs to the Most High. And that is how it's going to be until Biafra comes and beyond to eternity. This is Thank you for joining us. Thank you very, very much. Let us analyze the very recent video we have just seen from the Asare Dokubo, the Greek pig, who the enemy always used. That was why this very Greek pig, they were the people who put Tinubu as president. So, as in, in these guys, immediately Tinubu became in power. Small time, he was busy back in Tinubu, fighting the enemies of Tinubu. After that, they just signal him and say, go on the ground, start attacking Tinubu, start saying, condemning Tinubu's government, so that um, people will say you are now against Tinubu, so that time is coming when we will use you against the Biafra people. And this is the time. He just surfaced. This is somebody who the governors, Hopu Zadema and Dev Umahe, contracted to mobilize killers into our land, and they killed us. He's now talking about Igbo. When you see him singing Igbo, Igbo should allow to go. Igbo should go. You think that he is just trying to do things well, though we know that this very time will come, but not from him. They will later tell us to go with our Biafra. That is one thing we assure them. But in this very, um, this very, uh, what is it called, changing of narrative that they gave him the contract to come and do, so that the mindset of people will not be there and they will now do their will. That is what I am here to expose. They have contracted him to change the narrative. That's why they told him to sopeda and turn against Tinubu so that when he will do this thing, nobody will know about this because they will say, hey, but he's not supporting Tinubu for long. It is a lie. This one he presented now is the agenda of Tinubu. They just call him to use his mouth and they reveal the plan going, and they want to know our reaction. But let us listen to the video first. Let me, before we listen to the video, what the Greek pig is trying to do here is revealing the Tinubu's plan and discussion, Tinubu's suggestion, what they are suggesting. Should we give them Igbo states? Should we give them five states? If that's why you see them, they say we are constructing road to Calabar, we are constructing road to this, we are doing that, we want to carve for Haji into Akwa Ibom. This is in the plan. This is in line with this video of Asayi Dokubo you are going to listen to now. Uh, yeah, let the evils go. Oh, bang, 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 let the evils go. President Bolati, the boy, baby, he was go. Mm, ah, ooh, baby, he was go. Mm, Na general assembly. Ah, ah, ooh, ah, ding, 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 ding. Ah, baby, he was go. Yeah. Let the Igbos go. President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, please 
in the name of God. Why do we allow this vicious cycle of irritation of one people claiming to be victim when they are really the aggressors, when they are really the people offending others? Let us allow them go. National Assembly, let us vote. Let them go so that we, the, the, the body there will be more resources for other people to manage. If they want, if we don't even need a referendum of the president to meet, the National Assembly to meet, somebody courageous enough to sponsor a bill at the National Assembly. There should be a constitutional, uh, a constitutional amendment. The five people state and any group of people who want to join them, let them join the let them join the Igbos and go. It's a challenge. Let the Igbos go. No be mount. I don't start at home. Now so me I they start my own. Are you getting it? That is where we pin it, then we move. What did he say? Let the Igbos go. Do you get it? They did not say, let the Biafrans go. Now, what are they trying to do? They want to give you a new map. Are you now getting the reason why they created this five states and say it's south, southeast? Do you understand? So now, this is revelation. He's just revealing what the Tirubus and the Nigerian government is suggesting and discussing inside. In this case of Mazin Amdekan. But this is the time he tried to fix it because all of them has planned with this protest that Igbos will be the topic. Then you ask yourself, what actually led him to come up now and say Igbos go, that they are claiming to be victim? What actually led him to this? Because all of them have finally prepared to unleash all these, their accusations against the Igbo people with the Nigerian protest. Everybody was involved. He was waiting to bring accusation. He was waiting to even unleash his criminals in the southeast whenever there is a protest. There was no protest in our land, in the five Igbo states. That is why he is in angry. He, because he, is, he has collected money to set confusion in Enugu, set confusion in Abia, set confusion in Ebony, set confusion in Imo, set confusion in Anambra with his uh, military criminal. He claimed that they are a uh, private army. They have contracted him, but it fell. There was no protest in our land. So this is their anger. Then the Tunubu is aware of the Tunubu's discussion. But he claimed to be against Tinubu. No, that is the game they told him to play. They said, after putting Tinubu, then claim to be enemy, enemy of Tinubu, so that you can get some friends, then we prepare you and wait for a time, then you will unleash the plan. Now, they have used him as a voice to raise alarm that Igbo should go. They are now using him as a, 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 as a, a means to tell you where we should go. Do you understand? Now, he himself don't know that he is his land the force in the land of Biafra. We are not agitating for Igbo nation. This is what him and his Ujeme for planned. This is their de facto government. This is why they told the criminal in Finland to create government in exile, then and the later I bring them in by announcing that they now have de facto government in homeland. That is for the two government, for the two criminal groups, for the two saboteur groups to be existing because you cannot declare government in exile without making Uchem and Dokobo active. That's why they went ahead and declared Biafra de facto government homeland. That is to make sure that Uchem and Dokobo is active. That's why he was afraid to attack Dokobo because they are involved in the game. So we have finished that part of the game. This time around is to draw our draw a boundary for us. And that is what they sent him to come and test the ground. And we are telling him that nobody can speak for anybody in our land. Nobody can even tell you that Enugu should be Biafra. Nobody should tell you that Abia should be Biafra. Let the referendum decide. The referendum should be by tribe. 
Somebody that is somewhere is now telling you that is Igbo nation. No, it will be by tribe. It will be who do the freedom accurately. The people from your place will do the freedom. Only you will vote one. Look at somebody now presenting the agenda of federal government to give us five states, Igbo states, and uh, let them manage themselves. Uh, let us now manage the resources. The one you are managing, the resources you are managing, are we benefiting from it? He said their resources will, will be complete for them. It will be enough for them. The resources will be enough for them to manage. This time, uh, since you are managing the resources, are we involved? Are we partaking in the resources? So what Tokobo is presenting here is that the federal government is, is suggesting if uh, we can give them five states, not five Igbo states, so just five states, but the idiot is presenting Igbo states. Because there are Igbo in rivers, there are Igbo in Akwaibom, there are Igbo in Cross River, there are Igbo everywhere. So, but he's just providing five states. He said, give them Biafra. I'm sorry, give them Igbo. Leave the Igbo to go. Leave the, look at the man who could talk about Biafra. So if you see him singing now, you would think that he's suggesting for Tinubu as he's claiming. He said he has started the campaign. It's a lie. These are attacks. These are blackmails. They plan to tag on Igbo people. Had we participated in the, on the protest. Dokobo was one of the standby instruments to set the confusion in our land. So everybody who have taken any contract to unleash mayhem on our people in the name of protest to end bad government. Hence, it fell in our land. They are all trying to cover up. That is why this one came up now. So they are now pushing to Igbo nation. They are now pushing to Igbo state. They are uh, Igbo, give them Igbo, leave Igbo to go. That's why you are hearing Igbo, 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 Igbo. Igbo, Igbo, because the protest was political protest. It was government-sponsored protest. They plan it. They know the time to do it. They know the time Nigerians are crying. They know when to plan it to depress Nigerians so that after this one, Nigerians can never do anything. Even if they are shouting, we are going to do protest. The government will be drinking tea because they know where it will end. They have tested them answers. They have tested them all this time around. The first of all, the Tumbo government of cross the Nigerian youth by raising alarm with some people, through some people, hey, we go for protests, we go for some protest. So people supported them, thinking that the people that are speaking are individual, that is, freely speaking, or confidentially, no, or independently speaking, no. They are speaking the voice of the government, and they will speak it on your favor. Hey, we need to protest against the government. The hardship is bad, because that is what you need to hear. And you don't know it was planned by the same government, so that they will claim to be to have protested, right? And this thing failed. The same way he was called to kill us in the name of Ibu Babu was the way he was hired to kill us if we protest. That's how Dr. Bob was hired. But we didn't protest. The Nigeria concluded, Tinubu's government concluded that they will not use army in the east. They will use this militant, Dokobo militant. Forget what he's trying to cover up. Hey, let him go. It's a lie. It's a lie. Nobody can tell us our boundary. We will tell you our boundary. We will tell you our boundary through the freedom. As he's not saying, hey, let the National Assembly, let one person move the bill because they want to sponsor the bill for Igbo Nation. This thing he's saying is revealing the discussion going on in the government of Tinubu. That is what they sent him to reveal. Let me play it a little. This is the way they work. They must use somebody who they told to disguise himself as if he's fighting Tinubu. He's now unleashing the plan in Tebo. But we'll tell them we are here. We have taken position before they came. Anybody who wants to join them, join them. Me, my eye do open. There is nothing I'll do with evil people. So all these things, uh, releasing out the kind of killing the way, no. When the evil go, they can have him. They can manage him. They can make him uh, their messiah, their savior. 
They are every listen to his anger on Nam the Kano. This thing he's calling. They are savior. They are Messiah. So if you are calling Nam the Kano our Messiah, keep calling him. Post it. If you call him our savior, call him. It is this part of his anger. That's why he cannot make any address without touching his anger. Why are we calling him savior? Why are we calling him? So these are honors he needed from us. He wants it, but he cannot work for it. So let us continue. There is no problem, but let them go. Let him go. We have a lot to gain if we get these people, give them what they are demanding for. We have a lot to gain. Let them go. Let them go and turn their country into El Dorado, into heaven on earth. Envy. Let the evils go. Hey, compromise is bad. Let them go. Bitterness in his mind. Please. Bitterness. National Assembly. When they will have gone. Uh -huh. I am begging you. You are not let begging. Let us allow the Igbos go. We have a divine, a, a divine. He is just the government of uh, Tinubu told him to start this thing. He is not telling Tinubu. This is Tinubu that told him. Tinubu. Now all of them that took contract to set confusion in our land. In the name of protest, as protest did not hold, the money will not be returned. You will be called and given a new job over the money. That's how it is done. So they told him now to move with this campaign. That's why I said, I have started. That is how I start. Which way have you started? You are only telling us what they are discussing, which is not what we are saying. We say we need Biafra. And that is referendum. Do you understand? So you cannot just point our brother to me. You cannot come and point this person. This person is your brother. Where I go, it's a lie. I will tell you, my brother. I will tell you, my sister. We own the land. We know our land, and we are not going to force our people. They must join Biafra. They must decide Biafra through the freedom, not by any force, not by gazing, not by by saying it must be practical. Somebody must decide to be Biafra. We never call for Igbo nation. We never call for Igbo country. And we have never, Igbo never want to leave Nigeria. Biafra want to be on their normal way. Because Nigeria is not working. Nigeria is not working. Look at the people that have oil. Look at how he's shouting, crying. They have oil. Jonathan have ruled from that side. They are still hungry. The Nigerian army bomb destroyed Okwama, but they have become president before. For six years, the Yorubas are suffering. They have become president 12 years. The North are suffering. They have become president for something years. So there is no gain in Nigeria. Just for us to be is, um, their sacrificial lamb. That is our existence in Nigeria. So. We said, okay, we will not force anybody out of Nigeria because you may love to be Nigerians. We will do it by voting. If that referendum takes place, then our people vote to be Nigerian. Then we know we have done our own. So Tinubu and his government cannot be drawing map for us. Namdekan is not in detention because of Igbo. Mwike killed IPOB members in Obibu, not in Abia. We have IPOB state coordinator in Iboys, in Akwaibom. We have state coordinator in Cross River. We have state coordinator in Bayesa. We have state coordinator in Rivers. We have in Delta. So we have zones. So we have senatorials. Do you understand? So, somebody cannot come up. The Tinubu will tell him to start campaigning for Igbo five state to go. Small time from him, you will hear it from another person. You will hear some, all those, the, the federal government agent, they will start vomiting it. That's why I want to cross them now. We know that plan. This is not our presentation. We want their fractal freedom. We want our people to decide where they will fall in. Not Tinubu will decide for us. Not a pig will decide for us. 
Not an idiot will decide for us. Not Northern I will point my brother for me. Not a Yoruba man will start pointing at my, telling me who is my brother. Referendum will tell us who is our brother. Referendum will tell us where is our land. Do you understand? So this propaganda, all these things, all these lies, all this failed arrangement will not have a place in what we are doing. This is the point we are looking for, but not from this peak, who they send to change the narrative. What we, wait for, we are waiting for them is that they will beg us to go with our Biafra. Let them go and write it as them they can promise them. So they are now begging us to go with Ibo Akwea. Gradually, you, you must mention the main key, that is Biafra. So don't tell us to go, let them go with their Igbo. Let them, are we not, don't we, why not tell Ijo people? Let them go with their Ijo, let them go with their Ijo. You tell his own people, go with your his own. Uh, uh, we are telling Ibibio people, let them go with their Ibibio. Let them go with their Ibibio. We are, we are telling Isoko, go with your Isoko. We are telling Idoma, go with your Idoma. We are, we are telling Igede, go with your Igede. We are telling Igala, hey, Tenubu should allow it. Gala to go with the Gala. Uh, we, we are telling the um, Urobo uh, to go with the Urobo. Uh, we, are, we are telling the Obanke uh, to go with the Obanke. Take a Bogoku, an idiot. Igbo is a clan in Biafra. The same way Idoma is, the same way Igede is, the same way Isoko is, the same way um, Ibibio is, the same way Izong is, the same way everybody, all these names. Our name almost started with I. You don't come up and tell me where I should be uh, the Afra. I, I should be Igbo nation. Give them Igbo. Uh, let Igbo go. Go and do what? And do what? Where is Igbo going? If Igbo go, where will Ijo go? Where will Ibibio go? Where will Urobo go? Where will Igala go? Where will our people in Umunede go? Do you think Umunede is your language? Umu naede. The children and the kokoyam. Umu naede. Where will Awumchi people go? Awumchi. I can walk I am still God. That is the meaning. Awumchi. I am God. Not a northern language. It's our language. You should tell Tinubu to, to tell the uh, uh, job people. Let the job people go. Let us, we are asking for Biafra, we are dying for it, we are in detention for it. Do you understand? So, this is what he has. Don't think that he's trying to campaign for uh, for Igbo, uh, Igbo Five State because they must get the mindset of some people. They will start campaigning. Uh, uh, it's better self. Let us go with Igbo. As if we are foolish. Which Igbo are you going with? Igbo Nation. Is it those in, in Akwa Ibo? Or those in Cross River? Or the Igbos in, in, in Benue State? I want to know the, the Igbos, those ones, where will they be? The Igbos, uh, rivers is almost Igbo as a whole. The Igbos in Bayesa. Do you understand? So, we are asking you, where will those ones be? Hey, let Igbo go. Hey, let, let, let Igbo go. And idiot talking, you think human being is talking. Where is Igbo? Where, where is Igbo? Hey, five, let them go with their five states. Chileke, Bawako, empty brain. You think you are now a voice to your people. The freedom will decide if you, they are, somebody has been talking from that side. You don't come as government sponsor. You, you come and overshadow people trying to raise a useless voice that has no place. The freedom will show the voice of the people. So, Dokobo is a government sponsored voice whom the people have never appointed to speak for them. So anytime the government wants to deceive the people, they will signal them. They can never be against the government. Anytime you see them turning against the government, it is artificial. These people are criminals, so they can never play, play, they can never challenge the government. People that are fighting against the government, individuals, they will always be loyal to the government. Anytime you see them disguising to attack the government, they want to be
be used ahead. So it is to deceive some people. Just like this idiot they call Dokobo. After putting Tinubu, he waited and defended the Tinubu government. The next one, they told him to, uh, to drag, to show voice and say, uh, uh, will Namdekanu should be free? He said, no, nobody should free Namdekanu. So after that one, he waited a small. The government looked at him. They said, this thing you say now, you have created an enmity. So now, what you do now? Because this enmity you created, when you, we will use you, eh? Nobody will listen to you. So what you do now is turn against Tinubu. Start giving video against Tinubu's government. Start condemning Tinubu's government. So that time is coming when we we'll use you. So that some people will still believe what you say. And this is the time. And we are foiling that his agenda of changing the narrative. Right? Mazinam Dekano will decide for us with the normal people that should be there not a pig who cannot even decide for his community. So, government to contract this man, Dokobo, to come and tell us where, who should be, what should be given to us. Have you protected your community? You are not telling them, give them Igbo state, give them five states, let them go, let them, let us manage our resources. We, we are at gain, we, we have gain. So, since you have been managing the resources, are we with you? Do we join, do we squander the resources with you? How are you? We will have gain. They know to rule 10 times. They don't have gain. It is you that they are giving peanut. Eh? We will gain it. Let Igbo go. Where is Igbo? You yourself, are you not Igbo? Are you dodging? Our Igbo extends to your community. So there is no need of doing Igbo. It is better we do Biafra. Because Igbo extends to your backyard. Extends to your room. Are you not Igbo? I'm asking you. So we have come to debunk this presentation so that people will understand the narrative. The narrative of Dokobo this, on this video he just spoke was only to give us a new map and reveal the new plan of Tinubu's government, reveal the discussion going on among Tinubu's government, reveal their, their um, negotiation option to Mazinam Dekan. That is what he's revealing. But he's saying it as if he's campaigning for Igbo. He's saying it as if he's uh, suggesting for Tinubu. It's a lie. He's not campaigning for Igbo to be let go. He's not campaigning for Tinubu to uh, leave Igbo. He's only revealing as he was asked to do so. Revealing what they are discussing, which is useless to us because you cannot stop us, so you cannot decide for us. You can only decide for people you can stop, people you are controlling. You cannot decide for IPU. Now you see where the government fell. We will decide, we'll tell you how it will be. We are not in the hands now. Are you not the one piloting government? Are we piloting government? We will know who will be at trouble. Are we holding any government? We are just state actors like you. We are not... Um, but you are ruling a government. You are a country, isn't it? We will know who, who, who will be losing. You know? We will know who will be losing now. I can have a voice near now. Your, your servant, you don't want him or her to leave as he or she decided to leave. Consider your, your glass cups broken. Consider your breakable plate broken. Consider so many damages every day. There will be multiple mistakes. This is what we have presented. Hence, you don't want us to go. We'll keep breaking the glasses. We'll keep breaking the, the, the uh, what is it called? The glass cups. We'll keep making mistakes in the house. One day we'll break the television. Yes, you beat us. Have you not been beating us with army? The other day we'll destroy until you will get yourself empty. We will destroy everything before Nigeria will be destroyed. Unless you allow us to go now. Not to uh, under, we compensate you to go. We don't want that kind of Biafra. Our people must decide. 
Our people must vote to be Biafra so that tomorrow nobody will say, hey, we were in Nigeria, you forced us into Biafra. It's a lie. Even if you come to that, say, hey, well, okay, I rather this, I go. Uh, Biafra, go. We can never go and force a banker man who will conduct a freedom for them. So that the citizens of Ibanke will become freed people. They will not be in the condition that, um, hey, uh, 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 it's one, two people that just say we should be Biafra. I don't know how we became Biafra. So the Ibanke man and the woman must vote. The young man must vote. The young woman must vote. And decide to be Nigerian. You don't give us a new man. You don't tell us our brothers. You don't direct us to our sister. And now he's yeah, one day can age, and now he's age. So we are the people that will show you our brother. We will show you our sister. Not a stranger will come and tell me, hey, Igbo state, give them Igbo state. Which state you will give the Igbo in Akwa Igbo? Uh, Igbo country. Uh -huh. Give them, let Igbo go, let Igbo go. Igbo at where? Igbo in their first state. Let Igbo go. I ask them. Uh, and your mama, where will they are in Igbo go? Where will they be on my man Igbo go? Where will they change man Igbo one go? Where is the Igbo man go? The Igbo man. Where is the Igbo man in Obi Igbo go? Where is the Igbo man in Akwa Ibom go? Where will is will is will the Igbo man in the Cross River go? Where will the Igbo man in Bayesa go? When will the Igbo man in Benue go? If you fight state of Igbo go. Is that how you talk? That is how to say, you know, the hatred on Igbo will frustrate you and you show your stupidity. Where did the Igbo reach? Hey, let the Igbo go. Tinubu should do Hell, nobody, National Assembly should sponsor the bill. Let the Guanum Pama. Look at an idiot. Hey, nobody, they should move the bill. Let it not be referendum. Let, 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 let them, let them, let them just go. That's what Tinubu is discussing. They just told you. Because they are afraid of referendum. So they told you, they, they, uh, go and campaign for Igbo State, Igbo Nation. Let us see how they will react. You are getting the reaction now. We know your plan. Are you getting it? How many brokers have I done today? This one is four brokers. Hmm? Four brokers today. Four. Any topic here? I'm just removing videos. So okay, let me speak about it. In I guess study. Are we going to study what to say? Are we going to study why? So they can go me I go up for research to analyze the Kubo move. How can I research to analyze any move of the Kubo? Then what is the meaning that I am in the battlefield? Now the can say, if you bring a British, I will tell you what he has in mind. Without saying anything, without the British, he said, I will tell you what the British have, have intended to do. I studied the British. That's what now the can say. That's why he is fighting the British. We are guiding our people and say, wait, the British are putting on Nigerian jersey. We know how to fight them. Wait. For the name finish Hey, do something. Hey, do something. They don't want to do something in the north too, or do something in the west. It is do something in our land. Do something in our, in our land. The same thing the army is doing. The same thing police is doing. They are helping them to do it. And we are fighting the police, fighting the army. Chileke po kwa goku. Uma anom pama. Do you understand? So, the Greek pig is only presenting the Tinubu. Anything Dokubo say currently, from now, you know that Tinubu is telling him to say. He has finished his hiding time when he claimed to be against Tinubu. That time is to convince, to deceive people. This is time to unleash what they have given to him. Though they fell by us not participating in their protest. That was the main contract that was given to him to use his militia, his criminal gang, to come and kill people in Imo, in Abia, in Enugu, in Ebony, in Anambra. And after that, he will now come up and give this video and say, Ibos are causing trouble. They should leave Ibo to go. 
So even as there was no protest for him to kill us, after everything, the Tinubu government still signal him to still confess the same thing they have in plan. The same plan they have in place. Tokobo Suwea, if you were not contracted to kill protesters in Enugu, to kill protesters in Abia, to kill protesters in Ebony, to kill protesters... Did you not send your men? Unfortunately, you fell. Why are you coming up this time? See you advising Tinubu. It's a lie. You are revealing what Tinubu is discussing. These are the things they presented to Nnamdi Kano, and he rejected it. So, for sending you to come and campaign it for it, it's a stupidity. Stop showing your anger in, in, in stupidity. How, this, how many times did they present five states to Nnamdi Kano? Allow them, let them settle with Nnamdi Kano. You're here telling us, uh, give them Igbo, uh, Igbo five states. Let us campaign for it. Let us manage our resources. We will gain it since you have been managing it. Did we drag it with you? Which other game do you want to get? No, because later on, uh, oh, some minutes later, I'm gonna. Um, do you understand? So, No, we don't take them. You, we, we don't take five states because what they call five states is Igbo. So we have Igbo in Delta. We have Igbo in Rivers. We have Igbo in Bayasa. We have Igbo in Akwaibo. We have Igbo in Cross River. We have Igbo in Benue. We have Igbo in Kogi. Awumchi. So we ask, if the five Igbo states was asked to leave, where will those Igbos that are in those other states, where will they be? Have you heard about Omunede? Where will they be? But if they call it, you think it's the Yoruba language. Omunete. If you hear Awuchi, Awumchi, you think it's a northern language. Is Awumchi? I am still God. So where will they be? This is what Tinubu is presenting to Namdekan. But this is not what we are waiting for. We waited for them to beg us to go with our Biafra, and that is the point we are waiting for, because it will happen. So for them to beg us to go with Igbo is rubbish. For them to is an insult to our fallen heroes. It's an insult to you. It's an insult to IPOB. Are you aware? <laughs> A big insult. Some people will say, take it. Later you start conducting referendum. And you want to create war. So later you start fighting war with Nigeria to drag Europe. You start fighting war with Nigeria to drag a gala. They will call is they will tell is not central. They created people of Eza, Ebony State, to create them into Benue State. These are people you leave while their people are in Ebony. It doesn't work that way. Namazam can say the referendum will be based on our ethnicity. Do you understand? So, that is it. Mazen Amkan will discuss our boundaries with them. This thing they are just presenting is useless. We have a leader. We have organization. People will just come and tell you, let Igbo go. Let five states go. Let this go. Is that how to share a country? To go to, this, to free people? It's a lie. The campaign is rubbish. There is a man in their detention. They should meet him. They will meet, you should meet him. If he accept one state to be Biafra, that's your business. So if you have not finished with him, stop coming here. He said, oh, sir, let him go with the five states. He said, you are Dokobo. Chileke Pokwa Gawako. Do you understand? So we know what we are doing. One thing for our people is to be patient. 
we are driving them to the open field. So though we are fighting in the open field, then there is a place we want to drag them to. There is a place we want to drag them to. The place of them themselves will not return. So gradually we are taking them to that place. Gradually we have been patient to expose them to their citizens. Their citizens now know that the government is just fighting us, that the government is their problem. As simple as that. Without perseverance, can we be there? They wanted to turn their citizens against us. We refused with the 2023 election. The whole Nigerians would have been against us. This time around, they plan again to turn the whole Nigerians against us. They set up their instruments. This man, Dokubo, is part of them. He, have, he sent his militia to come and kill us in these five states if there was protest. But there was no protest. That's why he come up to cover his contract. Everybody is doing his own. There are other people they contracted that will give voice and condemn Igbo people. There are people that will say, we don't like how Igbo participated in... Hey, Igbo, how do they destroy this in the protest? Because Dr. Kubo will come and destroy Igbo land. He will also kill people. Nigeria don't want to use army and police and kill. Tilubu don't want to use them and kill in the east. They want to use the Kubo and kill us. Do you understand? Do, so that is it. Let them go and settle within Nandekano. If they want, they know what they, let them go there. Let them stop disturbing us. Our duty here is to keep destroying Nigeria. We destroy Nigeria. We destroy Nigeria. Let them patch it now. Let us see. Nigeria is unpatched. Let us see. Let us see how can you can manage an aspire basket. Let us see. We are here. We will help it to tear. How can we help Nigeria to stand? Are we foolish? Are we foolish? Have they ever helped us to live? Have they ever designed, make a policy to make us live? Are you getting it? Thank you. So there is a place we are going. If you meet Nam Bekano, present five states to him. You keep meeting him. You still present seven states. If he say no, you keep meeting him. Present nine states. If he say no, keep meeting him. Present eleven states. Don't send Dokubo. Tilubu, don't send Dokubo to come and tell us. Hey, we don't want to refrain them. Let it not be refrain them. Let the National Assembly move a bill. Onye Gwaragi. Tinubu just told you what to come and say, and you are vomiting here on, on a video. Do you think we are foolish? We studied in Nigeria. On this table, we'll scatter the whole table. Let us see anywhere they are setting any table. Come and set a table in our presence. Or by POB, set the table and gather. Let us see. Any table Nigeria set anywhere, we we'll scatter it. Come and set now. Mad people here. Do you understand? So, what we are trying to tell our people is that Dokobo, for him to rise up now, we have dealt with them. You see this protest, we did not participate. Second time, second genocide they planned. Second one, it fell. 2023 election, they contracted a criminal to be shouting no election so that there will be no voting in the East. So that the whole Nigeria would say that IPOB stopped voting. Now that they want to take power away from Fulani or from Buhari and give it to P2B, that IPOB stopped no election, uh, did not allow election. They will not say it's the criminal, they will say it's IPOB. Thereby, both Igbo people, both everybody will be against IPOB. That was the plan. They contracted the Finland-based criminal to use and to, and, uh, to achieve. But we neutralize it. The whole community in Igbo land, would have the pres they will give the president general order to give order that there will be no IPOB living in any community in Igbo land. Because they stop Igbo man from being president. If you call for freedom, they will tell you that you stop the man that should free Nam De Kano from being president. The whole Nigeria will protest against free Nam De Kano. This protest they are doing now, it would have been against against Nam De Kano. It would have been against IPOB. The whole war, the whole Nigeria. And it will go viral. 
and nobody will be shot. And the government will sponsor it. The government will aid them. Igbo people will be protesting against IPOB for saying no election. Everybody will be protesting against IPOB and thereby IPOB collapse. And you have also committed offense in the international community if there was no election. So you are against the democratic process. That was the trap. They will destroy you in Nigeria, destroy you in Biafra, and destroy you internationally. Then nobody will talk about an Kano again. And the IPOB will be on the run. That was the plan. We neutralized that one. Those that were shouting no election. Do you understand? If there was no election in the East, don't you know Tinubu's rigging was express? They want to use it to rig. That's why there was voting. So they started rigging in the presence of the voters. They rig in the air present because the only rigging plan was there will be no election in the East. That's the only plan they have to rig election. So immediately there was voting here. They started seizing the, the code for the distance to check the result, right? They seized the code because that's the only thing so that they can change the results. Before they made everything free, it will happen, you will count it in your presence, but they know that P2B cannot get 10% voting in Anambra, get 10 in Enugu, and start dragging to be president. Or start saying he win Abuja. Or he start saying he won Lagos. No. You must get the how many percent voting from your side. So that was where they wanted to dribble him. Using an infiltrator chief, which is APC chief. That's why this time around, when they call for protest, they signal the chief infiltrator based in Finland to give order for sit at home. Understand this. He started killing people. And they, they were also waiting for Dokubo. Dokubo have, won, have landed with his own. To kill people, Dokubo will be killing protesters. While the Emerima will be burning properties. That was the plan. So the Emerima started burning properties while Dokubo was waiting for protesters to come out. But there was no protesters. And still, the Finland-based criminal still kill people in Imo State. For no reason... What is the reason? Because the APC told him to call for a seat at home. The same way they did when we were protesting against the Bible, APC told him to call for a seat at home. That's why I hope Osodema provided Imo State as a ground where they would be operating. Dokobo and the Berima was the major instrument against the East during this protest. Ask yourself, why do they put sit at home? Marching with the dates, the people call for the protest. Why do they start killing people before the day of the protest? What do they want? It is to draw attention into the East, especially the Igbo land. So that people will remove their focus from what is happening in the West and in the North. They will start reporting what is happening in the East. That was the target. Do you understand? That's why the criminal base in Finland started, they gave sit at home. Dokobo also deployed his uh, criminals who will shoot the protester because Nigerian government, Tinubu, decided that he will not shoot people in the East during the protest with army or police. But they will use their recruited thieves that they handed over to Dokubo. They call private army. But all failed. They, they might killed people. He killed in an emo state. He, killed, he went to Aba. They robbed people. They robbed people. They even steal. No, they cannot steal. Somebody holding gun is robbery. Hence, you have an arm. That is robbery. Stealing is without weapon. Selling is like picking pocket. When you surrender people that are selling black market fuel, you carry all their fuel and put inside your vehicle. That is robbery. Because what actually made them to run away is your gun. And these are people who say they are army. But they are running inside the village. They cannot go to filling station. But the Nigerian army will go inside the filling station and they are running on the road. But the army is running inside bush, looking for black market fuel of poor people. They will load inside a stolen vehicle. Everything is stolen, and they are the army. They have killed the Biafran that owned the vehicle. 
they wear black are black, they run inside the bush, they are running village from village. You went and see black market fuel. Somebody is suffering. Somebody buy it something naira to sell nine, uh, 800 and something naira to sell 900 naira. Or somebody buy 920 naira to sell it 1000. You wear black or black. You say you are Liberation Army. You went and load the fuel. Nine liters of fuel. One one liter by nine. One 1000 naira. Nine, nine thousand naira of a poor woman. That's their Liberation Army in the village. The type will be protest. Eventually, if our body touch your table and your market falls, we will pay. We will take note of it. Any damage, we will take note of it. I'm talking about peaceful protest. Peaceful one. We are there taking note of any damage. Some will pay it that time. Some will come back. But these people, the same thing was Rike do. They will come to police station, collect fuel, and go. They say they are going to Kigwe, they are going to Okwe, they are going to DC, they are going to Port, they are going to, hey, Onyamama is coming. The whole Masop Moto will drive inside the police station, they will carry fuel free. They will meet a black market fuel, they will load it in their vehicle. And they tell you that they come to save you. These people say they are Liberation Army, they will collect, they will rob you, and they, they, you say they want to liberate you. The woman you took her fuel, she's still crying. I got the information. Why can't you go and give them their money? A poor woman that has gain of 80 naira. She has not sold the fuel. You load it and you are liberation army. Are you liberating or you are what? China can be very very. Thank you. So that is it. Thank you. I saw Asa Dry Gum no. I mean I'm three brokers, four brokers today. To make a premium. So are you getting it? Are you getting it? So Dokubo and the Berima was that is, they are the current instrument of Tinubu. Tell me the reason of the Sita Tombe call when he had that Nigerians call for protest. If IPOB call for protest and Nigeria put their protest that time, IPOB will suspend the protest. Why is it that Tinubu signaled the criminal base in Finland to call for a protest? While Nigerians call for their protest, while we are telling people not to join the protest. So why did he call for sit at home during protest? Because he was called to set government properties ablaze, to draw the attention of the North and the West away from what is happening in their, in their land. Then they want the international community to go first, focus on our land. Then the Dokobo was there waiting for protesters to come out. Then his criminal that he used as a bubago before, they will come and kill our people because the Nigerian government don't want to use their army or police. They want to use, they, they will say it's um, talks or they say it's a uh, militant or they say it's IPOB. That IPOB have come and killed the protesters. IPOB told the Igbos not to join protests. So when the protesters are protesting along Wedra Road, Owere, so IPOB militia, they came and shoot Nigerian youth protesters in Owere. Are you not aware it is in their plan? Because the Kobo will kill them. Do you think that if they kill the protesters, they will say it's uh, anybody? They say it's IPOB that kill protesters. That was what the Kobo was there to do. And today they are crying. Hey, let him go. Let him go. Because you fell. Chineke Papa Goku. Because you failed in your plan. It is now let Igbo go. Had you succeeded, you will not tell Igbo to go. We are not going anywhere. Because Ijo is not going anywhere. Ezong is not going anywhere. Everybody will go together. We will leave Nigeria. We will be a France. You don't tell Igbo to go. Go where? Igbo is a clan in Nigeria, in Biafra. Ezong is a clan. Ibibio is a clan. Ibanke is a clan. Urobo is a clan. Igala is a clan. Idoma is a clan. 
Il sécurise les clans. Il guide les clans. The same thing with Ibo. So you don't come up and say, Ibo should go. Where will Ibo they go? No, the Tinubu should uh, uh, just and, and, and let Ibo go. Where will his own people go? Anompama. The stupid idiot. And that is where I will be bringing this very program to an end. Thank you. That is where I will be bringing it to an end. Because share the program very, very wide. Share it very, very wide. Put all of us to understand this very evening. We are facing a very formidable array of enemies. Both external and within. And we are going to overcome each and every one of these obstacles. That I can assure you. That they may know that the God we worship is an invisible God, not a God that was wrought by the hands of men. For we do not worship idol, and we can never ever worship idol is impossible. This very family, this IPOB, belongs to the Most High. And that is how it's going to be until Biafra comes and beyond to eternity. This evening,